Good very morning, or very early morning. <laughs> As of the 3 a.m. Uh, <clears throat> so I've been up here for about a couple hours doing a uh, cleanup, food refreshing. Uh, I moved some to a bigger enclosure because they're getting bigger. I have one little straggler. In here, it is about to molt. So I can't move that one yet. As long as he's done, I will upgrade him to the bigger container with its siblings. I figured we'd do a an update on uh, Hannibal. Here's Hannibal. The one on the right is Graham, and the one on the left I've named Clarice. So, we have a whole theme going in here. So far, Hannibal has not eaten Graham or Clarice, so huzzah. Um, the artificial milk, or it's not artificial, I keep saying that, the imitation or replacement milkweed because I've corrected myself before it does actually have milkweed in it and milkweed extracts seems to be doing well one of the things that I'm kind of enjoying about this is that I can mush it against the side of the containers which is making grass cleanup easier since most of it falls to the bottom and the caterpillars kind of stay on the side so uh, that's a perk for this particular brand that I got from Educational Science uh, everybody's growing which is good even the little guy that I was worried about appears to be doing better Unfortunately, uh, that's the smallest one I've got, so there's nobody else that I can put him in with and feel comfortable with it. So he's staying in there. Actually, no, I think I've got, I think I've got two that are smaller in this one. So maybe they'll catch up and they can eventually be roommates. My Elizabeth stars are all getting ready to molt. Wow, lots of glare. So they are getting ready to molt to their fifth end star. Um, I'm going to mush some food against the sides, try to make them a little happier. And. These guys are all getting ready to molt glare again. Uh, there were three in here, one molted into fourth end star. And I've decided that for these three, I'm going to put them on real milkweed and see if their color changes because you can see they're a really pale yellow. They don't have that vibrant yellow. And I'm curious to see if that's the milkweed replacement diet. I'm assuming it is because they all have that. So I'm kind of interested to see if their color will change back. Under here, we have our two J hangers. They are not socially distanced. Naughty, naughty, naughty. And they will be going into chrysalis sometime this morning. They both built really nice secure buttons, so that will make moving them much easier. When the time comes when you move them, it's very important that you use um, 
fine tip tweezers and grab that button. You want to grab the silk button, not the black stick oaking thing. It's called a cremaster pronunciation, not sure. But you don't want to grab by that because that is actually part of the caterpillar's body. And even though it's probably safe to grab once they've hardened, I feel more comfortable grabbing by the silk button and then gently pulling the silk. I am fairly certain my two eggs are duds. Still nothing out of them. Um, it's, it's been five days by now, so I don't think these are going to hatch. But I will give them a little more time just in case. I know they're probably not going to do anything, and that's okay. They don't have to. Not every egg is going to be a fertilized egg. So, this group is my, I'm calling them my control group because these will be kept on the milkweed replacement diet the whole way. And Hopefully they will all turn out okay, but as I can and as my milkweed plants recover and put out more growth, I will transition as many as I can over to real milkweed. Um, just because I, I feel like the, the real stuff is the best. Um, the milkweed replacement diet is good if you are short on milkweed or if you live in an apartment and don't have access to milkweed uh, whatever your reasons for needing it i feel like it is a good alternative and seems to be doing a good job on getting these guys through but of course real milkweed is always best so as many as I can get transitioned over I will I've already cleaned out this container but I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna mush some of this food to the sides in the lid not a very clear lid but a lot of these guys are getting ready to molt so I haven't really messed with them too much I, don't, I try not to disturb them while they're molting. Hopefully we can catch these two when they go into chrysalis. They're not quite there yet. They're, um, filaments have not drooped. And once they're Getting closer, their filaments go completely uh, twisty. I mean, it, it really looks like they're just gonna fall off. They're just gonna dry up and fall off. So they're not quite there yet, but this morning, sometime this morning, they will go into chrysalis, which will bring us up to a grand total of 12 in chrysalis. Yay. And then I'll have to do a count to see how many I have currently because I've done so much juggling trying to get the ones of a similar size together, uh, dividing the, the bigger kids into separate containers so they have more room. Uh, eventually I will be losing that was my nice little find somebody was throwing it away and I immediately thought oh look that would be a great caterpillar container so <clears throat> I've got that all soaked in bleach and cleaned up and ready to go
And there's my cuttings that I'm trying to get to take. Uh, I thought some of those were doing pretty good and then I just lost them. So I need to do some more research on how to successfully propagate white cutting. It's kind of ironic because this thing, uh, that's a Confederate Jasmine and I got that from a cutting. I did use a rooting hormone and uh, did it like that and I tried like, I don't know, there were like eight others and that was the only one that took. So hopefully the milkweed will be a little easier to propagate. And once I'm done with all of the caterpillars, this entire room will be changed over to milkweed related growing stuff. So that's pretty much the morning update. Not a whole lot going on. Um, hopefully I'll catch those two going in the chrysalis and we can have another chrysalis video. So I hope everybody has a great day. Much love from Hannibal, Graham, and Clarice. And I'll keep y'all posted.